Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and goodwill, and priestly truth, and freedom, and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Uh, today's lesson, I wanted to go into, uh, you know, how most of you know the Lord is not done with Pride Month. All right, you know, you know Pride Month is synonymous. You know, he's a... Uh, He's a this alphabet mafia. I celebrate, you know, you know, men themselves being wicked. All right, <laughs> also that's just the you know the, the, the pride against the Alabama Sea outside. All right, but because also what they're doing is going uh, against the scriptures. All right, <clears throat> now with they being Pride Month, I want to get this real quick because you know the the, the month is going to be Pride Month. Also, you know the Lord, you're not dealing with that. All right, because that's totally against the scriptures. So this is the Book of Proverbs, chapter sixteen. Verse 18, pride goeth before destruction, and the heart of spirit before a fall. So ultimately, these people of the alphabet mafia is being, are, are in ways that are going to lead them, or they're participating in ways that are going to lead them unto destruction. All right, it says, in the heart of spirit before a fall, because ultimately, you know, these people are lifted up with pride, and that's why they go around, you know, posting, you know, uh, the, 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 the different, you know, uh, letters of the alphabet, or these, you know, these different, you know, quote-unquote sexualities. All right, ultimately, that's confusion. All right, we know that Yahweh Bashi Yashai is not the art of, art of confusion, as it is written in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. All right, so ultimately, <coughs> them then being proud of their wickedness, all right, is only going to lead them to the death and destruction. All right, this is um, the book of Leviticus chapter 20, and, uh, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them, all right, and we know an abomination to, uh, to be a filthy, wicked act, all right, and also that word abomination goes into the testament, so ultimately the Lord, Yahweh, by Shia, Shia, hates you know, these, these acts of uh, uh, sodomy, all right, because in biblical, all right, this is referred to as sodomy, all right, and we know the Lord hates all workers of iniquity, all right, so ultimately, you know, Man on man and also woman on woman, those are abominations in the eyes of Yahweh Bashi Yashai. But what does this world do, all right? This world promotes that. All right, you know, the earth being given to the hand of the wicked. All right, what do you think a wicked ruler is going to do? All right, you know, uh, uh, build up this world, all right, based upon wickedness. All right, so ultimately, Esau Edom, you know, has his, Esau Edom, the so called white man, all right, has this world, you know, built totally and contrary. And against Yahweh Bashi Yashai, all right, as it is written, what does God speak to, uh, to declare my statutes? Because Esau Edom doesn't go according to the ways of Yahweh Bashi Yashai. They go according to their own ways, their own wickedness, all right? So they, they, they gas up this kind of behavior, all right? But we know Yahweh Bashi Yashai hates it. He says, they shall surely be put to death, but the blood shall be upon them. But what do you see? All right, them walking around freely, without judgment, continuing in, in, in the wickedness. You see them continuing to do man on man, woman on woman, all right? All these uh, other different you know, letters, whatever, whatever they, whatever they quote unquote identify as, all right. And they continue in this confusion and wickedness, all right. And Esau is letting them do it, all right. But they're supposed to be put to death, all right. And once again, this world being built in wickedness is totally against Yahweh Bashi Yashai, all right. That's why Esau, you know, Esau uh, promotes that because he's just a wicked individual, all right. This is uh, Deuteronomy. <coughs> Select me. 23 and uh, 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. All right, we know a sodomite all right, to be a modern day homosexual. All right, because ultimately the Lord didn't set it up that way, He set it up to be man on woman, not man on man, all right, not woman on woman. All right, that's confusing where Yahweh Bashi got shot. All right, and also you know the reward for that is death. All right. <coughs> This is um the book of Isaiah, chapter three, and verse nine. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. It says the show of the countenance doth witness doth witness against them. You can see the pride you know, on these people's faces, you know, when they're committing you know, such wicked acts uh, that that's against the scripture because they, they they feel good. It makes them feel good. All right, so they're, they're proud of the wickedness that they do. All right, and, and they declare this sin, their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. They got it all out in the open. All right, and we know what they was doing back in Sodom before. 
are, you know, men popping men. They, they, they were so wicked, uh, and we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to get into how, you know, Lot was next with the filthy conversation of the wicked. But, you know, in that story, man, you know, they, they were so, so freaking wicked, you know, back inside of Mecca Moore, that Lot, all right, and he had the angels protecting Lot from that wickedness, and uh, Lot wanted to, you know, give up uh, uh, his daughters, all right, to the men, because, you know, he, he, he didn't like the way they was moving. He was willing to, he was willing to give up his daughters to the men, but the, but the men was like, nah, we want the angels. So you that, that you gotta have a, a wicked, evil, decrepit, vile spirit on you to 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 want to go after the angels, man. That's just that's just fucking wicked. All right. It says woe unto the soul, woe mean in death and destruction, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. All right. Ultimately, you know these mean you know, great sins and abominations in the eyes of Allah Yahshai. What does the scripture tell us? All right. <coughs> Romans. Chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach on board. All right, now let's go back to the book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 9. All right, it says, uh, that latter part says, Woe unto the soul, for they have rewarded the more to themselves. Woe once again in death and destruction. And because they are committing these sins and abominations continuously, by right, continuing in their wickedness proudly, or right, in a proud spirit, all right, the Lord's going to reward them with death. All right? <coughs> this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. And uh, <coughs> like the, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example of those that after should live ungodly. All right, also we know what the, what Yahweh Bashi Yashai, all right, did to Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, he did that because uh, of the wickedness that, that was uh, uh, <coughs> transpiring upon that land, all right? Now, what the Lord you know, did to them back then was an example for us now right, of how not to live. As it is written, the things that were written before time were written for our learning. So the Lord had it in the scriptures, you know, what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, he, he showed the wickedness they were doing. He had, he had it written therein in the scriptures, the wickedness they were doing, all right, and he had it written therein uh, in the scriptures, the reward for the wicked, all right, and ultimately the Lord set that up so we would know so we would know how not to live, all right? Verse 7, and deliver just Lot next with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That means Lot uh, uh, hated, all right, the way uh, they, they were conducting themselves in the, uh, back inside of Mecca because when you go into that word conversation, all right, that means uh, how they were uh, conducting themselves or the, their behavior. All right. <clears throat> Verse eight: For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, affects his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. All right, you know, just like you know, Lot was uh, vexed back then with their wickedness. All right, we're we're vexed right now with the wickedness. All right, it's like almost everywhere you go, all right, you see you see the uh, you see the alphabet mafia. Are right, you trying to watch a certain TV show? They just got to put some according to the alphabet mafia in there. Are right, you is a certain commercial pop up? Where you see two men rubbing on each other, all right? And then also, and, and uh, also in a lot of these commercials, you see men in drag, all right? Ultimately, that that's affecting to the spirit, all right? Because we know that's it's lucky. We know it's totally against you. How about you outside? You know, we're trying to be righteous. You know, seeing this wickedness, all right? It, it vexes us, all right? So the Lord's will, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, for Kadosh. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will well and preach the truth with truth and sincerity. Shalom on to the hope of the elect. The Lord's will, I'll see you next time. Until then, shalom on.